everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're making Valentine's Day cards. So I've already made a snowman valentine and some pussycat valentines and there's a cactus valentine. And today we're going to make an owl valentine. So I'm just using one fourth of a sheet of paper. So I took a whole piece of paper and I folded it in half and then I fold it in half again and then I cut it out so I could make four cards from one piece of paper. And you could also use um, cardstock, like a heavier cardboard paper if you wanted to have your cards a little more sturdy. So this is just a super cute and easy owl. We're going to draw them using pencil first because that's always best. I'm going to make two great big eyes here in the middle because owls often have great big eyes. And I'm going to draw the owl nose, beak. It's going to just be a pointy oval like this. And then I'm going to draw the whole owl. And the whole owl is just going to be kind of a round shape like this. Just keep making lines until you're happy. That's what I do. That's what I do. I've been drawing for a long time, but sometimes I need to draw a lot of lines before I'm happy. And then we can make some cute little feet down here at the bottom. So just a couple little curves. That's where the feet are, and then some toes. So one big toe in the middle, and then two smaller toes on the sides, just like that. All right, so that's the owl's feet. And then the owl has some wings. So I'm just gonna draw some extra curves over here to show where those are gonna go. Now I'm pressing pretty lightly because I don't want to um, have a hard time erasing when I'm ready to erase. Now I'm going to make some more circles. These are going to be like the middles of the owl's eyes, the pupils. And you want to try to, you want to try to keep them centered pretty much. All right. So this is our basic owl. I'm going to grab my Sharpie now and start making some proper lines. So first I'm going to do the beak. I'm just going to curve around the beak like this. And then I'm going to do the eyeballs next. So what I'm going to do first is make a circle inside my circle. And that's going to be like the reflection in the eye. And then I'm going to finish making the actual circle here. And I'm going to color this in on the outside like so. Just like that. And now I'll draw the outside of the whole owl. I'm going to use my finer Sharpie to do this part. So here I go. I'm just going to go around the edge. And I'm not being too um, solid with these lines because this bird is made of feathers. So I'm just making little edgy lines that come all the way around, trying to keep my arm out of your way. So all the way around just like this, kind of leaving some blanks and making some little Z's that go back, or V's I guess, that go back up a little. All the way down until I get to his cute little feet. And then I'll just make those feet by making that little curve on top, the big toe, and two little toes, the big toe, and two little toes, just like that. And then in between here, we'll just finish off this body. So if I'm going too fast, you know you can always pause the video, right? That's, that's a thing. Um, so now I'll just make some little eyebrows. Now I'm gonna switch to my smaller Sharpie and I'm gonna draw the edges of my owl's eyes. So they end up actually touching each other right here in the middle, right at the top of the beak. And so it probably even kind of overlaps. You only have to draw the piece of one there. Now it's hard to make a circle without turning your paper. I'm just gonna do my best. Since I have some lines there already, I'll be able to do okay. But it's easier to turn your page around and draw in the direction that your hand is moving. This is the easiest way to draw a circle. What I mean by that is if I turn this, I can make this arc the way my hand is naturally going to go. It's just harder for you because the owl's doing a somersault. All right, so that's my owl. And now I'll make his wings. So I'm just going to do the same idea that I did around the edge here by just like making some lines that come down. Some are jaggy, jiggy jaggy, just like this. And then since he is a bird, I'm going to have to make some other feathery shapes all over the bird. So you can just make little lines like this. That will make him look fluffy. And his little belly. 
like that. Nothing too fancy. Down the sides here a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. And some more across here like this. Okay, let's erase um, all of our sketch lines so that we can see the finished product. And so I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to hear what other things you might like to draw or what you think of this Valentine card or even uh, what you had for breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> why don't you just tell me what's up with you? Okay, so let's color them in. And I'm a big fan of just like not coloring things in all the way. So we're gonna color his toes in all the way. Nice little orangey color here. But then for the actual owl, let's just pick a color um, and, and go crazy here. So uh, what color, what color? Anybody going once, going twice, a normal owl color or crazy owl color? Let's go crazy owl color. Um, owls are usually not turquoise. So let's, let's pick a blue color here. Got a couple blues. Let's test them out and see. There's this one. Ooh. And there's this one. Ooh. Okay, I like them both. So start with the light one. And I'm just going to go around uh, making some lines like this, just the same way we did before. Kind of feathery. It's okay if you go outside the lines that you already did because, you know, maybe he even does have some like extra feathers that are sticky outy ones. It makes them kind of cute. All right, so I'm bringing my lines down all the way around my owl, just like this. And I'll do these ones and I'll do these ones. Now I did pick two colors, the other one's darker. So what I can do with the darker one is make some like imply some shadows. So maybe down here, let's take this darker one. Just give him like a heavier bottom, like that. And then maybe along his wings too, just so we can see the, the outlines, the heaviness there a little bit better. Maybe underneath his eyes here, just a little bit of outlining underneath his beak. And then we'll go for the light one again. I'll put some more blue around the eyes. We're not doing like outline, full on outline, just adding details. All right, now his beak could be the same color as his toes, or you could pick a different color. Totally up to you. And his eyeballs. I usually like to take a light gray whenever anything is white and just make a little bit of a of an edge around it to show that it is three dimensional like a circle. Just like that. I can get skinnier across here. Ta-da! Okay, and now we need to write our Valentine's Day sentiment. So two things we could do. We could make a big heart behind our owl like that. It'd be kind of fun. Let's see if we could do that with a pencil first. So we would start like this, come down behind him. Meet the edge there, careful, careful, careful. Maybe make it long and skinny. That works. And so here I go. And down, and down, and around. Just like that. Nice. And again, you could erase if you had some extra lines that you made from this heart. And whoop, Valentine's days are always very punny. They make jokes about the words that are in the pictures. And I think we'll use the word owl in our pun. We'll write, I'll be your friend forever. Happy Valentine's Day. Here we go. So here we are, black Sharpie, owl, be your friend. Forever. And then, went off onto my neck. 
next page. And then down here, happy Valentine's Day. problem with having more than one piece of paper. Sometimes you can't see where one ends and the other one starts. All right, so happy Valentine's Day. I'll be your friend forever. Now, if you wanted to add more color, you could always grab a color pencil and fill in lightly all of these other areas just to give them a little more oomph. Lizzie is looking a little bit barren in there, especially with the red contrast. So we could color him in quickly with some blue. Just picked a Laurentian turquoise is what I have here for my color pencil. And you could do the same thing with the heart as well. You could grab something red and finish just the part that's coming close to your owl. So it looks highlighted, but doesn't get too blurred in. All right, I'll be your friend forever. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, so please leave me a comment. And leave a like if you like this and subscribe for more Doodle Draw art. Thanks for watching. See you next time.